I'm Zach from Kaleido, and I play guitar. Here is my Black Betty. It's a PV Wolfgang, the USA model. I found it online for a cheap deal. I had to pick it up. I love Eddie Van Halen. And for 600 bucks, you can't beat it. So, she's a little beat up, but I like beat up guitars. So, that's what I went with. Uh, the humbuckers are stock, just stock PV humbuckers. The strings are DR as well, as the same as Ronnie. Uh, I use the Dimebag Daryl model. I love Dimebag. The hybrid set. I like the nines on top and the tens on bottom to give you that, that beefiness, but you can still solo up high and get easy bends. All the guitars I use, I try to get with the Floyd Rose. I, I like other guitars, but I use these all the time, going for those Dimebag Daryl Eddie Van Halen bombs. So uh, as far as these, my tone knob, I usually keep rolled all the way up. Uh, every now and then I'll roll it off a little bit for cleaner you know, settings and stuff. This here, my volume knob, this, this matching knob broke off and I put one of the set screw models on there, that kept falling off. And after a while, I kind of just got used to rolling that around and it makes the guitar harder for other people to play, so I figure I'm gonna keep it like that. Uh, I'm usually on the neck pickup. Um, I'm sorry, not the neck, I'm usually on the bridge pickup. Every now and then I'll kick over onto the neck for solos, get that thicker, smoother sound, but more often than not, I just stick with the bridge. Uh, I always take these guys off because I'm always messing with the Floyds and it's just easier to get to at that point. So I figure I don't need it at that point, you know, just less work for me. So that's that one. Here's my backup, also a PV Wolfgang. This is the, the special model, so it's just the cheaper version. I actually bought this, I was like 12 years old, I want to say. I, I mean, I love Van Halen, so I found this, I had to have it. Also got a Floyd. Same humbuckers are in there. This one's just got a volume knob, so it's a little easier. I've, I've gotten so used to this shape over the years that once I found the, my main, I had to go for it. Same deal, I take these back plates off because there's just no point for me, really. I like this one, though, because the bar sits up a little higher than the other. The other's a little closer to the body. So this one, you're going for certain dives, you've just got more room, and it's just easier. Uh, same strings, the Dimebag hybrid set from DR. They're great, I love them. I've used Ernie Ball my whole life, and then I stumbled across those, and I just fell in love. So I don't think I'll be changing for a while. I change my strings roughly eh, every three, four shows. Depends on how much I'm sweating, though. If I sweat like crazy through them, then I'll usually just, you know, change it anyway. Over to my amp. I'm running through a Marshall DSL 100. I uh, bought it with Red Tolex. I thought it looked cool. So I decided I'm just going to go with that. And I've always loved Marshalls. So, I mean, that's like the classic. Everyone wants a wall of Marshalls behind them. So I'm starting. <laughs> it's a tiny wall, but it's there. Uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty, pretty simple, the 100 watt version, but you can switch it over to 50 watts. I always switch it over to 50. There's no point in, you know, going full power, I guess, when you're playing to a smaller room or things like that. Uh, mine, well, I keep the reverb all the way up. I don't actually use the reverb on this amp, though. I use um, the Hall of Fame Mini there. But as far as settings go, the residence is at, it's like halfway, 5 o'clock. Presence is at 6. It's a pretty bassy amp, surprisingly, so it's usually around 3, mids around 4. Trouble around six, and the volume's usually only around three because it, it cranks. And, you know, that's what you'd expect from a Marshall. Uh, as far as the cab goes, just a standard 1960A. I've got an X pattern of Vintage 30s and the 75 waters that they come stock with. Uh, seven, or the uh, Vintage 30s are a little brighter, and the others are a little warmer, so depending on which one the guy wants to mic up, we'll go with that. It looks like this one's it's getting a little beat up, but you know, that happens. Uh, pedals, I've just got the standard Jimi Hendrix Wah. Uh, the exotic EP booster. I love this thing. I always kick it on for solos and stuff like that. Just give me a little more volume and it's, I love it to death. Um, like I said, huge Eddie Van Halen fan. Both my guitars are the old Eddie Van Halen model. So I've got the Eddie MXR Phaser. I love that. I just picked this up. Uh, the Echoplex Delay from Jim Dunlop. And man, my buddy plugged it in at the shop I got it from and immediately I was sold. Had to drop the 200 bucks or whatever to get it. And then, like I said, the Hall of Fame Mini Reverb, um, these things are really cool. You can swap back and forth from what they call tone prints, and you can get spring reverb, plate reverbs, hall reverbs, whatever you want. There's tons of famous guys, you know, Paul Gilbert, Guthrie Govan, tons of dudes got, you know, settings for that kind of stuff. I use Paul Gilbert's the, ooh, that's nice setting. It's, it's just a plate reverb, trying to give you that Eddie Van Halen vibe again, so. That's my pedal setup. Pretty simple. More stuff I want to get, but I'll get to that later. Mm. That's about the, the gist.